Hey guys, just right quick before we start the video, I wanted to mention a little mechanic that I actually didn't even really know about. So uh, thanks to, and I'm about to destroy this name probably, uh, Amory Garcia, and uh, thanks for pointing this out. But uh, there's a tension mechanic, and there are three different tension colors, as you may have noticed. There's blue, orange, and green. Blue has a very high rate of counterattacking, and uh, orange has a high chance of performing a critical attack, and green will either always guard or avoid oncoming enemy physical attack physical attack. So yeah, that's just a little small mechanic that uh I never really noticed. So thanks for pointing that out and uh let's get started with the video. Alright, it's time for more Arc the Latch Twilight of these Spirits. So last part we picked up a couple of the ancient tablets and we beat the Dillswell in Dragonbone Valley. And since the Deals Weld are now out of Dragonbone Valley, we can do the Dragon Ordeal. And, sweet, two times in a row I was not stopped at that dot. So, let's head into the cave here. And just right quick, make sure... No, let's, let's fix that. Uh, let's just do one cure on Dark. Alright, he has full health, full Spirit Stones. All the good items, I think. So we need to head into this cave where the dragon ordeal will take place. I'm on my way, um, I mean, I'm on my own from here on out. Oh, just forget about your promise to that ultra here. It's got to be dangerous to go alone. No, this test is also my own personal revenge. I can't become what he said I was. And this will show the Drakir how powerful I am too. It's alright, don't I have a feeling I just read that completely wrong. Dark's not the kind of guy who'd get himself killed doing something like this. I know, I know that. Okay, now, this fight is annoying. It's kind of hard, but the hardest part, well, I'll get into that in a second. So, let's go up here. There's only here to go, so let's see about getting this Dragon Master Crown. Do you want to pick it up? Well, yeah. Alright, we that was pretty damn easy. We got the crown already. Ridiculous, that's all? What kind of ordeal was that? Yeah, I mean, nothing happened. Alright, well, let's just return to Drakirnia then. Let's go. Uh-oh. The Dragon Master Crown is proof of a Drakir leader. Do you have that right? Who are you? Oh shit. Are you truly descended from the dragons? Who are your ancestors? What is your father's name? What is your mother's name? I'm Windolf's son. Dark. My mother. I don't have a mother. Uh. On your arm is indeed the crest of Will. It is a sign inscribed upon Will's children. Dragons reborn as Deimos. It is proof of Will's blood. Wendigo's son, Willard. Willard's son, Willowo. And you are of Willowo's son, Windolf. What? Willowo? The Drakir Elder. The former leader, Willowo, is Windolf's father. That is, your grandfather. The one who exiled Windolf for choosing to be with a human. What? Windolf, ah yes, you're the son of Windolf who loved a human. That is why I sense a human soul within you. But, fine then. If you are truly a descendant of the dragon, show me your power. Okay, this fight, as I was saying earlier, it's kind of hard, but... The crappy thing about this fight is both dragons have a missable item. So that is very exciting. Uh, they are huge, they do a lot of damage. Uh, 
Ah, see, 48 damage from that one move. Not good. And first turn, they can both attack you, which is awesome, isn't it? But yeah, so that means you have to steal from one at least. And that is very annoying. I'll take what I want. Please, please, please. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to waste a bunch of turns trying to steal. I got it on one shot against Draguza. Oh, come on, Dark. You gotta do better than this. I don't really know if you're more likely to steal one or steal an item from a certain dragon or not. I'm just kind of trying. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, well he's gonna run away. I guess I'll try this silver dragon here. Don't hurt me. Ugh, 57. What the hell is that about? I don't need to heal. Big time heal. It might even be better just to kill one of them and then to um, steal from the other, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try to steal. I can deal with that damage. And here, fire doesn't really help, except I guess give you a better critical hit chance. Yes! Storm Talisman! Sweet! I can stop doing that shit. But now I need to beat the gold dragon. And pick up his remains. Or his... his drop. Okay, that's a relief. I don't have to sit here for an hour trying to steal that item. So let's go over to the... to him. And you know what? Let's do our vampire fang. I shall devour your soul! <laughs> And heal 26 health. I like that. That works. For no, don't go away, gold dragon. Urgh. He's gonna jump in the way, isn't he? Yes. Now I can't reach the gold dragon. What was that? I don't know how much health they have, though. It seems. Well, that took off 40, so it seems about 100. Can I reach him with wind slasher? No. Although I can do this. I can do a Pyron attack and hit the gold dragon. Come forth, oh hero of disguise. Come, Pyron. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I hardly ever use the Pyron, so. <laughs> I, I completely forgot what that even looked like. But now the gold dragon will fall on the next turn. Shouldn't be a problem. Ugh, too much damage. But you can see how this fight can be so pretty damn annoying. Especially if you have trouble stealing that one item. Oh, come on. Dodge it! Ugh. Well, they don't have high physical attacks, but their magic is uh, pretty damn devastating. No! Ugh. Not what I wanted you to do, stupid dragon. You're a stupid dragon, that's what you are. Uh, how much health does he have? He has 99. He can take another shot. And this should kill this gold dragon, but I am taking a risk. There we go. He is down. I get his drop. And he is running away for some reason. And it is Dragon's Wraith. I forget what that does. Let's look. It was blue, so it's got to be one of these. It's... Wow. Raises your avoidance and counter. Pretty much guaranteed to counter. From a physical attack. And of course he's not going to use a physical attack. Why would he? I wouldn't either if I did, you know, 50 something damage with my magic. This doesn't look good. The Davos only understand power. Ah, uh, okay. Let's use a great herb. Recover 200 HP. 
And now we are ready to cause some pain. Oh, come on. Stop it. You'll regret that. Alright, if we can make him stop being an asshole. I forgot how much damage I did. I think I did like 30 or something. Oh, 50. Wow. Screw using magic. I'm doing tons of damage just hitting him. And let's see if I counter. That all you got? No. <laughs> well, fine. So you defy me. Five more damage. So probably what three or four more shots will kill him. And I, I don't know if they have like a certain amount of. I guess you would say spirit stone type things where they they can only do a certain amount of attacks so you magical me. attacks I don't know Next time you're dead. he's gone two straight uh, turns without using one and that's three now How's that? all right now he is dead I got both items so that's good that makes me feel better I was kind of dreading that fight just because of the whole have to steal one item thing. I guess it was more of an ordeal than I thought after all. But the ordeal is over, Dark. You survived. I have acknowledged your power. As promised, I now recognize you as a descendant of the dragons and new leader of the Drakir. Awesome. Forget it. I never wanted to be the Drakir leader in the first place. I'm Dark. He who will rule over all Deimos. I have no time to waste on the ways of the Drakir. Uh-oh. Turn red. Dark weight. You have a fair amount of dragon within you. Now he's green again. Your windstone has been broken in two. Just as you are, you, you yourself are incomplete. The windstone is incomplete? I only have half of it? The wind's protection and its destiny, too, are split in two. Into dragon and man, into Deimos and human. Though the wind be divided, still it remains. And should two winds meet, though they collide, they, though they struggle, finally, they form a single vortex. That is the wind's destiny, its fate. I shall settle once more into my eternal slumber. Farewell, son of Windolf, until the day you return to me. The wind's destiny. Are you telling me to find the other windstone? Well, that's kind of what it would seem like to me. Now let's go back to Drakirnia, because we now have the Dragon Master crown. And uh, we now rule the Drakir. Thanks for waiting. We're going back to Drakirnia. What? Going back? You got the Dragon Master Crown? Hell yeah, I did. I got it. Everything's fine. I knew you could do it, Dark. See, just like I told you. No need to worry so much. Oh, shut your snout. <laughs> well done, Delma. I wasn't worried in the slightest. Now, Willow will tell us where Dragoos is hiding out. Okay. Yes, Willowo. What is it, Dark? He's my... Ah, never mind. Let's get back to Drakirnia. Okay, awesome. We now have the Dragon Master Crown. We can return to Drakirnia and uh, take over the Drakir. Now, I know Dark wants to rule over all Deimos, but uh, doesn't it make sense that if you're going to rule over all Deimos, you, you'd have to rule over the Drakir anyway, so I don't know. Seems like he shouldn't be so mad about uh, being a ruler of the Drakir now. But okay, let's go back to Willowo and let's confront him about being Dark's grandfather. Uh oh, being Dark's grandfather. What is this? What is it? I'm gonna go see Willow Willowo alone. Huh? Hmm. Why so serious all of a sudden? What has gotten into you, Dark? Dark soul. 
Amber sorrow. Red brown bewilderment. This is my own affair. It has nothing to do with you. I'm going alone. Hey, don't be so cold. We're going with you. Did you not just listen to him? Friends, listen to me carefully. I brought you along because I need help to unify the Deimos, that's all. So this is none of your business. Wait here. That's right. Do you do as you please until I get back. I wouldn't call Delma a friend anyway since she tried to kill you. And uh, of course Camellia is not a friend. She'll she is, she'll as soon sell you for a penny just to just to be rich. He's taking a long time. He's taking an awfully long time. I guess Sagan's really worried. Do you think Dark is alright? I thought I told you not to talk about him. But I wouldn't expect a Deimos want to be like him to complete the dragon ordeal. Except you are completely wrong and you are sick and old. Willow, are you alright? Don't worry about it. I have fits like that all the time. And look who it is. It's dark. Cough, cough. Okay. Have you brought the Dragon Master crown? Yep, here it is. That's the crown, alright. Now it's time for you to keep your promise. Why don't you tell me where Draguza is? Alright. He ought to be around Thuner Point. The Dillswell humans have a base camp there. Disgusting though it is, Draguza and his underlings are in cahoots with humans, you see. So, Draguza is working with the Dillswell army? He really is a dirty Deimos. Are you sick? I don't have much longer. Just like Drakirnia. Willowo, I have something to ask you. What's that? What's the Crest of Will? Oh, you know about that. Proof of the blood that ties you and me. I see. The birthmark on your arm. That's the Crest of Will. Windolf had it too. And on my back, so do I. The Crest of Will is a holy seal in the shape of a birthmark that can be found throughout the generations of the Will line. From father to son, it's a family mark that's sure to be found somewhere on the body. That is the crest. Who's Dragoos? Oh, damn it! <laughs> okay, let's let's move past this dialogue here. Okay, thank you. Who is Draguza? We don't know who he really is. He's shrouded in mystery. He showed up in Drakirnia some years ago. He got the Drakir all stirred up over getting their windstone back. He took strong young Drakir with him when he left. Drakirnia, having lost the Windstone and the village youth, has become as you see today. There is no future for Drakirnia, I'm afraid. Okay, well, about Windolf's past. Windolf. He was a young leader who had the respect and trust of every Drakir alive. But he changed when he met a human woman, Nafia. He broke Deimos' law and had you. I banished him from the tribe. It had to be done. Such a crime couldn't be overlooked after all. At that point, he stole our windstone, the treasure of the Drakir tribe. I had to send someone after him. I simply had no choice. Can you understand how I felt? This was my son. Oh, what I hope I had for him. Oh, what hope I had for him. My son, who surrendered the throne of the Drakir leadership. He turned his back on everything. Well, Nafia. She was a human girl who lived on this continent. Nafia wanted the Windstone and seduced Windolf. She was the one who approached him. She started it. This is a fact. But when the pursuers I sent after my son cornered that human girl, she, she fell off a cliff along with her baby and died. Well, baby... The human woman had given birth to twins, Dark and Karg. You are one brother of a set of twins, but hes they're all dead now. Nafia, your brother Karg, Windolf, everybody's gone. 
the only one left is you. Well, never mind. For Windolf's son to have grown up so strong and healthy and have returned to Drakirnia, now I have no regrets. Okay, well, we learned quite a bit, or at least Dark learned quite a bit. And we know Dracuza is at Thuner Point, so I had a brother, a twin. If he were alive, he would have gone through the same trials, thought the same thoughts, felt the same pain as I have. But he's dead. So in the end, I'm still just the same lone Deimos wannabe after all. Wait, it's coming back to me. Didn't Lilia say something about having met a human named Karg? And his mother's name was Nafia. Is that just a coincidence? Or is it... Jeez, what am I thinking? How could I be reeled in by a story like that? That was just something, something silly Lilia made up. Of course, that's all it is. Well, you might think he went through the same trials and uh, pain as you, but that is the opposite of the truth. Anyway, it's time to get back with our party. Hello again. Did you find out about Draguza? I sure did. He's at the Dillswell base at Thuner Point, it seems. Why? Why would Draguza be at a Dillswell base? Willow says he's working with the humans. I don't like the sound of that. Draguza, human, they're all the same to me. Let's smash them all and get that water stone. Hell yeah. Somehow that Orkin girl's enthusiasm seems to be catching. I guess Camellia's enthused about getting it back. By the way, are you done with your own matter of revenge? Oh, that. Yes, more or less. Dark? You may not like to hear this, but... I feel the same as Delma. What? I consider myself to have your same goals. To be your ally. And maybe even your friend. Uh-oh. Hm. Allies, friends, no less. That damn Volk, he sounded more like a human every day. Yeah, just tell him that, see how he responds. But, alright, that's going to do it for this part. So, we got quite a bit done. And, in the next part, we will go teach Draguza a lesson for teaming with the Dillsweld. So, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.